Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can install Laravel and create a Laravel project from the very beginning step by step. So in order to install and create Laravel project you need to have three things installed in your device. The first one is Node.js, the second one is Composer and the third one is XAMPP. So for it we need to download those and install those one by one. So first of all we are going to download and install Node.js. So for it you need to search here node.js just go to your google or any other browser then search for node.js and then you need to go to this link node.js.org so i'll just click on it and it will take me to this page and i'll also give this link in the description just check it out so in order to download this you need to click on this download option just click on download and there you can see a download just started here and it is around 25 MB so it will take a minute to download so right now I will just fast forward the video and there you can see the download is complete right now we need to install this for installing this we just need to double click here and there you can see it will show you something like this just click on next then just check here accept the terms in the license agreement then next here you can choose where you want to install your node.js just keep the default location which will be local dc then click next then click next again and here you will see automatically install the necessary tools and that will also install chocolatey but we do not need this so i will recommend you not to check this one just right click click next then click on install then click yes and it will be installed in a few seconds And there you can see installation is complete so now just click on finish and it is done so in order to check whether node.js is installed or not just go to your search option then say here cmd and it will open a command prompt here like this just click on it and here just say node minus v or dash v then press enter and it will show you the node.js version so right now after installing node.js you need to download and install xamp do not try to download and install composer you need to first install xamp then you need to install composer so just go to your google again then search for xamp and you will get this link www.apachefriends.org just click here and here you will see the download option for windows linux and os x we want to download it for windows so we need to click on this and i will also give this link in the description right now we we'll click on this xamp for windows and a download will start it soon and if the download do not start automatically just click here okay and there you can see the download started here and it is around 150 mb so it will take some time so i'll just fast forward the video and there you can see the download is complete so right now what we need to do is that we just need to double click here then say yes or click yes after that it will pop up something like this click on ok then click on next next again and here you need to choose where you want to install your xam just keep the default location then click next then click next again next and it will start installing xamp so this will take a few seconds to install so right now again i will just fast forward the video and once the installation is complete it will show something like this just click on allow and here you can see creating uninstaller around 75 percent and it is complete so right now uh, if you just check this and click on finish it will open the xamp automatically and you will be able to start the apache and mysql just if something like this pop up just click on allow so after this uh, let me just stop those and close this once you install xamp you need to install composer and in order to install composer just go to google then search for composer then go to getcomposer.org it will show you a page like this 
then you will see this download option just click on download and i will also give this link in the description just we will now click on download then it will take us to this page download and run so we need to click on this .exe file so just click on it and there you can see it started downloading and download is complete there you can see again we will just double click on this download or on this exe file then we need to choose this option install for all user recommended then click yes and i will recommend you not to select this option because if you select this option then it will be really hard for you to uninstall composer just keep it the way it is then click on next and then you need to make sure that the location is exactly this one so you need to go to where you where you download or install your xam then go to the psv file then go to the psv.exe file normally composer will by default choose this location psv.exe but if but if it doesn't make sure you add this path okay and also make sure that you check this option add this psv to your path as well just check this then click on next just click next and then click on install there you can see it is running and it will ask you may need to restart your computer but it's not necessary just click next and click on finish now if you want to check whether you have installed composer or not just again go to command prompt just say here cmd here you can see command prompt here you just need to say composer press enter if you have successfully installed composer it will show you something like this so right now we have installed node.js xam and composer now we are ready to install and create our laravel project first of all before we install and create laravel project let me just go to laravel documentation just search for laravel then you will see laravel.com from here we will go to the documentation option and here you can see the installation so in the installation page if you just go down here you can see in order to create laravel project we need to run this command laravel new then this will be your project name but if we run this command we will get a error let me just show you let me just copy this command then let me just go to my folder let's say we will we want to create a laravel project over here so for it here in this location uh, let me just show you from the beginning let's say we want to create a laravel project in new volume d so in order to create a project laravel project over here first of all you need to select at the top then you need to say here cmd then press enter once you write cmd and press enter it will open a command prompt and the documentation says that in order to create laravel project you need to write this so if you just write this here laravel new and the project name you can name this anything let's say example lara you can name it anything but if we press enter it will show us a message that laravel is not recognized the thing is you need to install laravel globally in order to create a laravel project and how can you do it for it we need to say here composer global require laravel slash installer so what this will do is it will install laravel globally so once you run this command it means you will be able to create any laravel project by running this command so just write this composer global require laravel slash installer then press enter and it will start installing laravel in your pc globally so it will take some time and there you can see it is done so right now we can just close this and let's go to our folder again let's go to new volume d again and we want to create a laravel project for it we'll say cmd press enter it will open a command prompt and as you already know in order to create laravel project we need to run this command laravel new and the project name so we are going to say here laravel new then we need to give our project name so this is a command and the name can be anything let's say my first laravel and press enter 
so this will create a laravel project for us and it will ask you a few question so there you can see would you like to install a starter kit since you are a beginner just say here none you don't need to choose breeze or jstream just say none then press enter just say here zero press enter and there you can see it started creating our laravel project So this will take some time, uh, around 5 minutes. So right now I will just fast forward the video. And then it will ask you a question, which database would you like to like your application to use? And you can use SQLite or MySQL, whatever you want. So since we are a beginner, so I will choose SQLite, but I will advise recommend you to use MySQL. So if I just press enter, it will by default choose SQLite. After that, it will ask you a question, would you like to run the default database migration? I will just say here yes, then press enter and there you can see it created some database and some and installing some other packages and files as well and the installation is complete. There you can see. So right now how can we run our Laravel project? so that we can see the project in our browser that is actually really simple it is already saying some command over here cd then you need to write your project name then npm install npm run build those are the command then php addition serve as well so what i am going to do is that i am just going to close this and here you can see it created a project called my first laravel if we just go inside this is the file structure for the laravel project there you can see so if you want to run this what you need to do is that you just need to go to the project directory there you can see currently we are in the project directory then click at the top then say here cmd then press enter it will open a command prompt and there you can see currently we are in the project directory my first laravel so in order to run this we need to say here php artisan serve then press enter so it will run our project so right now if we just go to this link http on to 7.0.0.on just copy this paste it in the browser press enter it will show you something like this but i will just recommend you to run the npm install and npm run bin command so in order to stop this you need to press ctrl plus c and it will be stopped so right now we are going to run this command npm install it will take a few seconds then npm run build and press enter it is done so let's run the command php artisan serve and if we do not run this command and if we ju just try to refresh here it will show us a error this site cannot be reached so we will just write this then press enter and right now our project is running and there you can see it is back so this is how you can install and create your first laravel project i hope this was easy for you and I would like to show you the one more last thing that is let me just go to sublime text a code editor you can choose any code editor you want I am going to use sublime text so I will click on file then open folder uh, I will open the project over here there you can see my first laravel select folder and there you can see this is the project so whatever you are seeing over here is coming from the resource use and from the welcome.blade.php there you can see there is a lot of code if i just remove every code from here control a then remove this then save it then refresh here you will see nothing over here so if we just say here html and in the body if we say h on my first laravel website save this then if we press enter it will say my first laravel website so whatever view you see over here is coming from the welcome.play.php 
and if you go to routes then web.php there you can see it says for the root view return the user this view welcome dot welcome view which is basically this one okay so if you want to know more about laravel from the very beginning to very end then you'll see a video on the screen where i talk about in details about laravel for beginner i hope that video will be really useful to you and again if you have any question any suggestion or any confusion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials